Hey everyone, what's up? I hope you all are doing pretty well and thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will understand how to create a query or a contact form using WP Forms plugin. I have already described in my previous videos how you can create a contact form using contact form 7 plugin. But if you want to do the same functionality, perform the same operation, then you can use WP forms as one of the options again. So in order to create a query form, first we need to define the field. So define, we will add three to four fields. First is name, second is email, third is phone number and fourth is any message or query that user want to submit. Now using the WP form plugin, we can create this entire query form and add it to on our website page step by step easily. So watch the video till the end and follow all the steps so that you don't face any problem. So in order to get started, we need to come on to our WordPress dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new plugins. We need to first install the plugin that is WP forms. If you have already that plugin installed, don't worry, you can skip this first step. So I'm just searching for WP forms and after searching, I will see the first option as WP forms contact form by WP forms. Just click on install now. And once the installation is completed, click on activate now. So installation is done and now click on activate. So this is our first step to install and activate the plugin. Now let's move to the second step that is to create a query form using WP forms. As soon as you active the plugin and refresh once, you will see an option called WP forms on the left hand side here in this bar. So here is the option WP forms. Now click on all forms. So by default, there is a sample simple form, which we don't want. So we will just click on move to trash and we will delete this. We will create a form from scratch. So we'll click on add new. And first we need to give a name that is what will be the form name. Don't worry. This name will not be visible to the user. This is for only our reference. Now here is a field to give a name. So we'll say demo form demo form. So there is a basically tour. You don't want to that tool. So demo form is the name. So now there are template blank form, simple contact form, newsletter, sign up form. There are plenty of options available. You can see here also many of them are available on the premium version, but in this video, we will only use the free version of this plugin. So we'll use the simple contact form. So we'll just click on the simple contact form and use this template. So once you selected the template, now you will see some interface like this, where the form name is there name, first name, last name. But if you want to merge this field, then you can do that. So you can go to field options and the interface is very user friendly. It is not something that you need to code something, just drag and drop and you are good to go. So if you want first name and last name separately, then you go for that. But if you want only the simple full name, then you can choose this. Now after name, we decided email. So email is there. Now after email, we decided phone number. So we need to add phone number. So we'll just click on add fields. And from here, you will choose phone number. So phone number is not available in the standard fields. It is in fancy field. So fancy field means you need to upgrade to pro. So that is the you know limitation of WP forms. But instead of that, you can choose numbers. So just drag and drop it here. So we want after email. So we'll just drag and drop here. And instead of numbers, we will say, we will say mobile number. We will say mobile number, right? So anyone can enter mobile number and make it required. You can go to advanced and you can see the field size. If you want to make it large like this, then I mean in the full in the width, then you can do that. Let's do this for other fields as well. So make it large and also make it full size. That is full width. Mobile number, you can see other option like placeholder, default value, CSS and smart logic, but smart logic is again in the pro version. Now we have three options, name, email, mobile number and comment or message. It means if anyone wants to set a query or a message, then he or she can enter in this field. After creating the form, now let's talk about how to configure this form so that anyone filling up the form and submitting the details so that you as an admin can receive the detail. So for that, you need to come on to this setting page. And then here are the some settings like form name, tag, submit button, you know, now you can go to notification and you can say enable notifications so, so that anyone filling up the form can, you know, send the details via email on your email ID. So you can say send to email address. So by default admin email is there. You can change it and enter your Gmail ID or email ID or whatever email account you are using. 
you can change the subject line you can change the form name from admin reply to all these things can be set up the main thing is that the mail should be sent to which email id that is the most important thing that you need to set up once it is done you can click on save changes and now the next step is to embed this form on a particular page so for that we will come back to the wordpress dashboard again so that is our step number two that is to create the form now we have successfully created so we'll again come back to the wordpress dashboard or you can directly remove this from url and keep only wp admin now come to wp forms here you can say we have a demo form and here is the shortcut so in order to embed this form on our website or on any web page we need to copy this short code just just copy this like this come to any page or post where you want to integrate so we want to integrate is this on the home page so now there are two options with elementor or without elementor method is same the only thing is that in one method you are using page builder in another one you are not using any page builder so let's say if you are using elementor so you just need to come on to the page and click on edit with elementor i also tell you how to do it without elementor so don't worry so once you click on edit with elementor then you need to just select a widget that is called short short code so just cross these suggestions now here i need to just first duplicate this so once i duplicate i can see there is another section and now i can delete all these things because i don't want i want only the form so i'll just delete all these things and like this and i can delete this one and now here i want to add a widget that is called short code so just search for short code drag and drop something like this and here i need to paste the short code that i copied and then apply once i have applied i just need to update this so that the changes are saved and once i applied and update the changes now the form is successfully added now i can preview the form by clicking on the preview changes and now if i click on the preview changes now click on preview changes and you can see the form is successfully there right now the form is very basic you can design the form but in this video i will only talk about how to add form designing of the form will be covered in the separate video because that will take time so this was the method to add a form using elementor but let's say you don't have elementor or you don't use elementor in that case let me uh, you know create a new page all right i have a uh, page as home page which is not built with elementor so i'll just click on this just need to paste the short code here like this and update the changes once the changes are updated now click on view page and you can see the form is also here so with elementor or without elementor both ways you can embed the wp you know contact form which you created so guys that's how you can use wp forms in order to create a query form and embed on a particular page on your wordpress website so guys that's it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update whenever we upload a new video on our youtube channel i'll catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day